NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm Melissa Don, and this is your morning update for Saturday, February 5th. A UTC mall employee is in the hospital today after a customer stabbed him while trying to steal merchandise. Police tell us the two men got into an argument over a return. The customer tried to then steal from the store and the employee stopped him. That's when the customer stabbed the employee multiple times in the back. He's described as a 23 to 25 year old with a shaved head wearing a gray sweatshirt and jeans. And one of the people who stabbed and killed a 64 year old woman during a home invasion learned her fate yesterday. Police say back in 2019, Melissa James and Ian Bushy stabbed Carlsbad resident Marjorie Gawit in a brutal attack, stabbing her more than 50 times. James pleaded guilty to the crime and was sentenced to life in prison. Bushy still awaits his trial. And if you hear some loud booms in the North County this weekend, don't worry. Explosive training exercises are underway at the Camp Pendleton Marine Corps base. Officials say those explosions may be heard from up to 50 miles away, pretty far. This comes just days after our newsroom received calls from people reporting strange loud noises that apparently shook from San Carlos to Poway. Now those big booms still remain a mystery to authorities. And this week, Council Member Jennifer Campbell unveiled a proposed ordinance to regulate street vendors in San Diego. So this would require licensing, permitting and health standards for all vendors. Plus, it limits on where they can set up. The proposal comes amid growing complaints from beachfront retailers about unfair competition and illegal dumping of trash and even some grease in neighborhoods. And a deadly winter storm had 50 million people under winter weather alerts yesterday. This caused about 4,000 flights to cancel coming in and out of the U.S. just yesterday. In San Diego, about 20 outgoing and incoming flights were also canceled, and at least 10 have been canceled so far this morning. Well, coming up, Brooke has your forecast after this. When you have wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi throughout your whole home, you can use it everywhere. Yes, even there. Get wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Hey there, I'm Brooke Martell with your first alert forecast. We have some mild wind conditions out along the coast today. Same thing for your inland valleys. But as we get into some of the deeper interiors as well as portions of our mountain communities, expect a bit of a breeze to pick up through this afternoon. And these winds will continue to strengthen into Sunday and even Monday. Those are some Santa Ana's, which means we'll have some warmer daytime highs on the way for this upcoming week. But for your Saturday, it's a great day to get outside. We have mid to upper 60s out along the coastline with plenty of sun shine low to mid 70s today across those inland valley communities. But as you can see, plenty of sun there as well with a few high level passing clouds and over the mountain communities where it will be pretty breezy heading into the afternoon. Those temperatures will be right around those low to mid 50s. Some areas could potentially reach the low 60s and we'll have a mix of 60s and 70s today across the deserts. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Well, we will continue to bring you the latest news here at NBC7.com and on TV. And as always, you can learn more about our podcast. That's Today in San Diego. We chat about the day's biggest headlines and what's impacting our community. Stay safe and have a nice day.